distinguished speaker for this morning, dear participants and colleagues, a very good morning to all of you and assalamu alaikum. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you today to our workshop on disinformation and fake news. Thank you for joining us this morning to talk about an issue which is of extreme importance in everybody's life. Because as you'd agree with me that we today actually live in an information age where information is everything, information is power, is prevalent in our lives, in our business, in our work, everywhere. But fundamental shifts have taken place in the way we create news or information, the way we use or consume news or information, and its allied ramifications. So that brings us to the point that information can be a, a two-way weapon. It can be useful, it can also be harmful. And one of the biggest harms that we see today is in the business of fake news and disinformation. We are today flooded with information. As a matter of fact, many of us have an information overload. And in an age of information overload and flooding, sometimes disinformation sips in that can have very negative consequences, not only for individuals, it can have devastating consequences for society, for state, for the international system. Just as an example, if you see, look back in the context of Bangladesh, the disinformation campaign that was launched over the incident at Rabu is a very sharp example of how a disinformation campaign can bring destabilization in any part of the society and country. Similar examples are abound in the way disinformation has been utilized in election campaigns of other countries for example, the U.S. elections, or disinformation campaigns to degrade the capacity of states in many cases. So these are very serious cases with serious consequences. And they not only have consequences, but they have multiple consequences. So the terms that we are now very familiar with is fake news, disinformation. What is fake news? Our esteemed speaker is going to explain a lot of the things that I'm talking about. Fake news is when you create a false news. But it is also, in my mind, it's an oxymoron. For the reason that news cannot be fake. If it is news, then it is not fake. Because news is supposed to be based on facts and truths. I would also like you to understand in our discussions today the differentiation between disinformation, misinformation, and malinformation. Disinformation is an information that has been created to mislead, confuse an individual or parts of society with a malified intention. It's a motivation, motivated creation of a information. Whereas misinformation is again a false information, but perhaps does not have that kind of motivation behind it. And malinformation is a information on news that is a based on facts. It is not false, but it has been created and utilized to degrade somebody or defame somebody. So the differentiations are very, very clear. I want you to understand the basic differentiation of the terminology and the categories. I'm extremely happy to see a very smart group of young people today. So we are here not only to talk to you, we are also here to learn from you. Because in the business of consuming news, a generational change has taken place. Today's generation no longer news reads newspapers. Most of you don't even watch television. Your only chance of consumption of news and information is through the internet. So this sea change that has taken place 
also brings us to the point of vulnerability because the net is able to push out a large volume of disinformation and fake news at speeds which we have never experienced before. So one of the basic characteristics of today's information age is that this information can be pushed to the audience at speeds which we have never experienced before. It can also be used and speed it up with smart algorithms, with smart AI, and all of the allied tools that are available to us. So it is therefore extremely important for us to understand the technicalities, how it is done, how it is created. I'm sure you're also familiar with information bubbles. Many of us either create or we live in information bubbles. Your WhatsApp group, for example, is an information bubble in which you live. And it is very easy to penetrate that bubble and push out disinformation and fake news. So the kind of peer influence or the peer pressure that you have in the information cycles it is again a very important factor to understand. Information today lives in both push and pull factor. The pull factor is becoming less and less prevalent. It is now primarily working on the push factor where the information is pushed to you. So you're not even seeking the information, but it is given to you on the plate. So that you get attracted and you consume the news and get influence. So you have to understand the kind of news that is being pushed to you and ask its authenticity. One of the basic value of a young mind is when the mind is critical and the mind is questioning. I would strongly urge upon you that you must develop this critical understanding of an issue. Try and question everything. Don't take anything on a face value. Try and find out the rationale and the logic behind every item of news that is pushed to you or you're pulling it yourself. This ability to question, the ability to critically question and analyze is perhaps the biggest defense that you have against disinformation and fake news. I would have much more to discuss with you throughout the day, but I would like to leave you with the thought that this is an information age. We are going to live through the information age the vulnerabilities are going to increase many times more before it gets better. So we better prepare ourselves to live in this age. We must have the right skills of getting the right information, getting the right news, so that we are not derailed at any stage and we don't become pawns of people's minds who are trying to derail us through their malicious thoughts and malicious creation of news. I would request you today that this is not a monologue. We are discussing with you. So please feel free to express yourself, give your thoughts, share your experiences with us. We are on Chattermouse rules, so you should be absolutely open in discussing whatever you want to discuss. We are here to learn from you as much as we want to share our experience with you. So once again, a very warm welcome to all of you and enjoy the day. Thank you.